Hey guys, it's Joshua, and after a month of waiting, I'm back with another video, and don't ask about the Legos in the background. I am currently working on some stuff, like you can see my A-Wing over here, you can see whatever the heck this is over here, and you got a pile over here. Trust me, when all is said and done, when I'm done building all of it and I'll review it, you'll never know that it was once a huge pile of scrap, but... Anyway, I'm here with another Cars video, and to be honest, I really don't have a reason for not uploading. I was just, I don't want to say I forgot about my channel, but I more so just, I don't wanna really want to say I didn't have time. I don't know, I just didn't make myself enough, make it my top priority to do video. So sorry about that for keeping you guys waiting for so long. But I'm finally back, and over that time, I have accumulated a lot of Cars. Now, and a, I've accumulated a couple of Lego sets too, but more so a lot of cars. And in turn, more videos. So I have, I'm reviewing these guys right now. I got to review all of that. I still have some Transformers to review. I still have some Legos to review and I have a ton of cars. So probably um, this will last me until, because now that I've made myself a lot more time and I'll be consist and I'll be posting videos a lot more consistently and not taking such long gaps. I'll probably finish reviewing everything by, like, at most, July. Like, that's how much stuff I've gotten, so. Like, June or July, so, yeah. That's how much stuff I've gotten. Just wanted to let you guys know, and without any further ado, let's finally start this review that you guys have waited a month for with Color Changer Sin McMissile, who doesn't color change anymore, and Holly Shiftwell with Wings and Acer. And since these two are, like, the main spies of Cars 2, we'll start with Acer. My first solo Cars 2 video, because most of the time I've lumped in Cars 2 characters with characters from other movies, so this is the first, like, Cars 2 solo review. I do believe, yeah. So we'll start off with Acer, who has this nice lime green color. It's got a mean expression with a, um, it's coming off as like a gray, but it's like almost like a dark brown, um, Silver mustache, I guess, or grill. Silver headlights. Out this little line and down the hood and pacer. See the little like crevice there where the hood would open. Oh, whoops. These are plastic eyes as well, with plastic inserted windows and plastic rear view mirrors. There's a door handle and a stripe that would be like a gray verging on black. He's got. Gray wheels with a grayish white with grayish white rims, and I like this detail. This isn't like what I did, this is already how it came. There's like some dirt de details on the bottom. I don't know if it's dirt or rust, but like it's kind of hard to tell now with all the chips and stuff that he's been worn out through the years. But there's just a lot of like scrapes and, sh and scratches here. It's it looks like dirt, but for you guys, it may look differently. Which is actually really cool. I never Acer, although he's chipped, he was never one of the cars I really played with that much when I was little. And so now reviewing him is taking me a little more time to appreciate him, considering we don't really get Cars 2 stuff anymore because now we're mainly focused on Cars 3 with like all the new tractors and all the new racers coming out. And then some and then some of us also focus on like Cars 1 with those releases because some of those cars, well, they're just nostalgic for Cars 2. It's not that much this year, and it's kind of sad, honestly, because I know a lot of people didn't like Cars 2, and Mattel kind of shuns it a little, but, man, I really wish we could, like, see back some of the spies and stuff. I know last year we got these two. We got a normal version of him, and we got, well, we got Palace Danger version of him, and the normal version of her, but that's for, like, the villains, like the Lemons. I don't think we'll get them back, which I understand, because the Lemons were kind of violent, like, blowing up cars and crushing them into cubes, but... So it would be nice to see them back eventually, like, they're not my favorite cars, but I would just like to see them back in the mix, because, to be honest, although collecting Radiator Spring stuff and, um, Piston Cup Racers aren't my favorite things to do for cars, I still do miss some of these, some guys like these. But, uh, yeah, getting back on track, we have AMC back here, and a license plate that says Fishbowl, because this is what, like, this model apparently looks like a fishbowl. I can kind of see it. And it says Ace on the back with the tail lights that almost look like stickers. Are they? 
No, they are decals, but for some reason they look like stickers. I don't know about you guys, but they do look like stickers. I don't know where they're, but here is the base. Pacer, Disney, Pacer, China, Mattel, Inc., a code, and another code. Very cool. Next up, we will do Holly. Mine is indeed missing the front mirrors. But she does have a mouth plate. You can see that crack there with the headlights and a nice smile. It's got plastic eye insert with green eyes. Forgot to mention, Acers are brown. There's a the black eyeshadow there. This isn't a Thailand car, but it's like to make her look more feminine. She's got more stuff there. Plastic interior windows. And for some reason, like, the back ends and, like, the roof are, like, really chipped. But, like, I barely played with this. And the reason was, I don't want to spoil something, but I used to have this specific car's item. And she would not work with it. And I always hated it, so I shunned her a little. But here are the wings, which are plastic pieces. The purple... It's coming off a little worse on camera because you can see like the purple is like noticeably a different shade. In person, it does look closer, but if you took a closer look, you could see it's a different shade. It's got oh blurriness. You got this little yellow thing here with the HS logo for Holly Shiftwell. Nice wheels, black wheels with these silver rims. Nice. Obviously, we know her taser, or as Mattel calls it, the electroshock device, comes out of there. And actually, last year, that's the version we were supposed to get. Because for if you guys don't know, in like earlier releases in 2020, I wasn't really big into collecting cars in the beginning of 2020. Like, the weird thing was, I've been collecting cars almost all my life. Stopped around like 2013 or 14, then got back into it for 2017. And then took off the entire 2020, and I'm back for 2021. It's kind of weird, but... Yeah, and I still kind of kept track of cars. I just wasn't really buying any of them at all. So I was still kind of keeping track, but not really like buying them or paying cars too much attention. But I remember I saw the back. I forgot who, but I know one car from the Lunge and Chase series, which was like the Spy series last year. There was in the early like cars that came out for the year, it showed a normal fin like this on the back with a... Holly with Electroshock device to come out. And then later on they changed it and put Palace Danger Finn with the normal version of her. Kind of weird. I don't know what compelled them to make that decision. But maybe they're like no gun too violent. But yeah. She's got this plastic bumper which she's always had even up to Thailand. Nowadays like to make stuff unibody. It's like let me get a unibody car. Sorry about that, but I just went on my shelf. I was about to grab a car I haven't reviewed yet that was spoiled something, but yeah. Like, here's Will Rush. You'll notice that not only are the eyes now part of the body, but notice how the, the bumper is fully metal, the windows are fully metal. But for some, for some reason, Holly has always had a bumper plate. Like, you'll notice Thailand likes to make everything one solid piece. Everything... Besides the base wheels and spoiler on Will Rush, everything on him is metal. By the way, I did review him in the first Target haul I did back in like late January, early February. You guys should check that out. But yeah, everything is metal. Just the wheels, the spoiler, and the base are not metal. They're plastic for obvious reasons. But everything else is metal. And even on the Thailand Holly Shift Wall, even though Thailand does like to do unibodies now... They still include this bumper plate, which is kind of weird. It's a plastic inserted piece, which I don't really understand. I mean, Holly is her own unique model. You're not really ever going to use this model for any other car. Unless in the future we are proved wrong. But yeah, it is kind of weird. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, that actually looks... So on camera, the purple does blend for this. does blend in relatively well with the main metal body, but... Oh boy, it doesn't look that good on camera. It really doesn't. But, uh, you shall continue. There's the tail lights kind of fading away over there. The exhaust pipes and HS1201, which is a nod to the voice actor, Emily Mortimer, whose birthday is December 1st. Henceforth, that is her license plate. 
Although nowadays they don't do stuff like that. Like with Car Street, Bob Cutlass. I don't think his license plate correlates with Bob Costas, who is the real life voice actor. So I don't know. Tell, Mattel's priorities change every now and then. Here's Holly. If you guys don't know, I'm giving a lot more attention to my cars because if you'll notice, in you know, my past videos, I wasn't really like giving too much attention to them. I was like, I give a little background and then review them, but now I'm going a little more in depth. I don't even. <laughs> I'm thinking about going in depth. I forgot about the doors. They're very thin, very small, and there's a little doorknob right there. So with that, that's actually it for Holly. And I forgot about the base. <sighs> if you guys don't know what these are, these are like if you guys remember the TV cars too, where like these things like flipped out and they like controlled the TV in Sidley. I mean like the controls they controlled the screen in Sidley. It was like the plane they took during like um when Mater like quit Team McQueen and was like going back to Radiator Springs. So yeah, there is that. The Disney Pixar China, Mattel, and the code, which is basically nice. Is you can make like a six and a one, but that's really it. And lastly, here's Color Changers Finn, who doesn't color change anymore. Oh, what a sad thing. But it's fine. At least it's technically now a normal Finn McMissile. But you can see his eyes right there, kind of scratching off there. Nice smile. The mustache. The headlights are gone. So like the grappling hooks that he has, another little lights down here. These would have been the side view mirrors. He has awesome wheels, these black wheels with like these weird rims. They almost look like shurikens, but these like deploy like his little bombs. I think these wheels look awesome. He's got this little thing here which deploys his gun, door, doorknob, windows because it's a color changer. And I don't know what has happened to him, but like the windows are just completely blue. Unless they were always blue and I just never realized, but... Got a little, I guess, fins back here. Trunk. And can we read that license plate? Yes, we can. 314 FMC. Oh, man, we're listening to that last letter there. Yeah, I guess that would have been M. Finn McMissile. Yeah, it would have been an F. I mean an M, but it's all right. 314 at the beginning because that is when his voice actor, Michael... Ah... Uh, I forgot his last name. I forgot his last name. But I know it's like Michael something that voices him. His birthday is March 14th. So henceforth that is also his license plate. He's got this weird intake or whatever on the hood. Yeah. Here's the base. Oops. China code, code, and Mattel. That's what we like to see. China. Not nowadays where... Uh, But, you know what, I shouldn't complain too much, because this car in particular is actually really good. So I shouldn't complain too much. But, yeah. So that is it for all of them. The only cars to, like, spies that I have to offer, sorry to say, but I don't really have as many as I used to. Well, to be fair, I think from the beginning I didn't have that much, but I did used to have a better amount. I used to have, like, 10, 15... Maybe there would have been some duplicates in there, but now I've just been reduced to these three. Which is fine, honestly. I don't really mind. It's just, hmm. Could be a lot better. So, yeah, that's it for them. Obviously, you guys know I explained. Got a lot of cars, Transformers, and Legos on the way. Not sure who I'll review next. I have so much stuff. It's actually kind of hard to decide what I'll review next. I won't give a tease because, honestly, those kind of... Don't work sometimes because then sometimes I don't really post for a while. I know now I'll be posting more consistently, but just in case, I don't want to give a spoiler. But, you know, it's just a lot of stuff on the way. If I showed you guys my shelves, you guys would be shocked at how many cars I've gotten recently. So, with that being said, I will see you guys next time for a review of another new car. Who would be? Not sure, but until then, take care, guys.